call the order of the meeting of uh, April the 20th, 2020 uh, to the County Commission. I want to thank all of you for being here uh, tonight, uh, those commissioners that have made an effort uh, to be here and uh, uh, technology wise, we thank you for that as well as our department heads uh, and other elected officials that I see that have joined us here. We thank you for that. Uh, and then those that have joined us by TV tonight or live stream, either through Wilson County Public Television uh, or Charter 198, AT&T 99, or streaming live on Twitch TV. Uh, tonight's meeting uh, will be held in accordance with Governor Lee's executive order uh, number 16 in order to conduct essential business for Wilson County government only uh, while protecting the health, safety, and welfare of Tennessee, Tennessee Tennesseans uh, during this pandemic. You have all been muted at this time. In order for us to get our meeting started tonight, I will ask uh, Commissioner Ali at this time if he will unmute himself and take care of the prayer and the pledge. And then once that's done, then we'll all unmute ourselves in order to get our business started tonight. Commissioner Ali. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Chairman. Hello, everyone. Um, I was hoping to be um, standing before you this evening, but it is uh, different and tough times um, on all of us. Things are looking better. So I pray the next time we all can be together in the same room. Until then, please uh, stay safe and healthy. Um, I would like to um, ask the pastor of um, Last Point Church here in Lebanon, uh, my friend, Pastor Jim Kubik, to uh, lead us in prayer this evening. Appreciate you allowing me to join this prayer. Father God, in Jesus' name, we love you and we thank you, Heavenly Father, that you love us, that you love us so much, in fact, that you sent your Son, Jesus, to die for us all your states and it's according to the Lord. God, I pray over this county commission meeting this evening. Heavenly Father, your word tells us that if we ask for wisdom, that you will give it to us, and that you will give it to us abundantly and without approach. And so I pray for wisdom over every member of this commission. It gives them the supernatural ability to make decisions in times like these that are hard. It gives them the strength and the endurance to pursue to a point of perfection of your will for this county. God, I believe that you will do it. I plead the blood of Jesus over each of their homes, believing, Heavenly Father, that you and you alone hold us in your righteous right hand. I, I pray all of these things, believing, expecting, God, that this governing body was sent by you and placed by you to be the work that you have had in the And I ask that you bless them for in Jesus' name. Amen. Please rise. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Ali. You will at this time please unmute all of your mics uh, before we can take. Uh, our roll call, and I'll do those individually. Uh, and when I call your name, please uh, just answer present uh, to record your presence at tonight's meeting. Uh, Commissioner Fields? Here. Commissioner Bannock? Here. Mr. Franklin? Here. And Mr. Bernard? Here. Mr. McFarland? Here. Mr. Rich? Here. Commissioner Scrubs? Mr. Costley? Here. Mr. Patton? Here. Mr. Walker? Here. Mr. Gentry? Here. Commissioner Ash? Here. Commissioner Robinson? Here. Mr. Jones? Here. Mr. Dow? Here. Commissioner Weathers? Here. Commissioner Ali? Here. Commissioner Breeze? Here. Commissioner Glover? Here. Commissioner Stafford? Here. Commissioner Kurtz? Here. Commissioner Marlowe? Here. Commissioner Venata? Commissioner Venata? Mute. Did you unmute yourself? I know she's here. I see her presence. I got you. Commissioner Bishop? Here. 
Commissioner Smith. Here. Okay. Everyone we have is on board, so we have 25 present and zero absent at tonight's meeting. This time we'll uh, turn it over to Commissioner Patton for the report from the steering committee. The steering committee met on uh, Thursday, April the 9th at 6.05 p.m. in the county commission room. Um, uh, minutes are in your packet. I believe they be received this file. Second. Second. Got a motion and second. Any discussion? Okay, I got a motion that time by, um, who was my motion Sarah. by? Sarah. Sarah Me. Pat and the second was by Commissioner Walter. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Let the record reflect it was unanimous. Commissioner Patton, please go forward with the adoption of the agenda. Motion to adopt the for adoption of the agenda. Adopt. Uh, sorry for the of the agenda. Consent agenda. I'll get it right next. Second. The agenda, I got a motion for adoption of the agenda by Commissioner Patton, and a second by who? Uh, Glover. Mr. Glover. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 And opposed? Let the record reflect it was unanimous. There is no consent agenda, so we'll move forward. Report from the Minutes Committee, Commissioner Bishop. The Minutes Committee met remotely due to the uh, in the whole virus pandemic on April the 9th. County Mayor Husso and County Attorney Jennings were physically at the meeting in the committee's meeting room. IT specialist Ellen uh, Wilson and Food Channel Director Teresa Bush were also present to provide technical support. The minutes for this meeting are in the packet as well as the Lice County Commission meeting. And I make a motion this report be received and filed. Second. I got a motion by uh, Commissioner Bishop and a second by Ms. Robinson. Commissioner Robinson, any discussion? See none all in favor say aye. 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 With the record reflected with unanimous as well. Do I hear a motion to dispense with the reading of the minutes? So moved. So moved. I got a motion and a second. That'd be a motion by Cindy Bannock and a second by um, yes, Commissioner Weathers. <laughs> Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Uh, at this time, uh, we'll have a communication from the chair. Uh, Aaron, if you will mute our members. Um, I, I do want to try to go over some. Mayor, we can't hear you. You're muted, Mayor. We don't hear a thing. Okay, now well. mute them all, Aaron, and now we'll start. Still, uh -uh. you're muted. Still there. can't hear you. Okay, now we're good. There you are. Okay. Good. Will, if you will, mute yourself so I do not hear your background, and we'll go from there. I said, first of all, I want to thank you for all you have done as this commission and the commission in the past as well, uh, and the decisions you've made, mainly speaking of those that have. Uh, built and reserved our fund balance because these are times when the this will be very important to us. Uh, I want to give you a quick update about our budget. I tried to put this in writing several times and it was just too lengthy for me to do. Uh, Mr. Maynard had done an excellent letter to you and he may have some other words here at the end of our meeting when he gives his report uh, to sum up more of what I'm saying tonight. But I kind of want you to just think about if you will, we'll take it in maybe three parts tonight. First of all, as we look at this year's budget and where we are, our property tax for this year, we're in good shape there. And the fact that 99.85% of collection uh, rate has been taken care of as we speak. As you know, the tornado happened after uh, March, after the, on March the 3rd, after most of the collections were good there. And so as we look at our overall, overall revenues for our general fund balance, we'll see that 87% of those collection rates have been done as well still with April, May, and June out there on those revenues. 
As you think about sales tax, sales tax is two months behind on collections and reporting. So therefore, January and February uh, will be reported in March and April. So our two months that are going to suffer really for this budget season will be May and June. Now, as we speak right now, our sales tax collections at about 78 percent again with April, May and June to come in. But that's not a bad number as we speak. Also to note that the tornado that happened also will generate some sales tax revenue just because of all the rebuilding efforts. As we look towards hotel motel tax, it's a collection rate right now of 81 percent. Again, with the tornado, we have a lot of uh, those workers, uh, dislocated workers that are there in uh, those hotels that are trying to help rebuild us, as well as insurance agents that have come in to assess the damage. And so they have helped keep our hotel occupancy uh, at a decent rate. So those are our revenues as we see those. We're definitely uh, low and will probably be low on the sales tax. I want you to turn your attention to the adequate facility tax. And if you remember, we had a kind of a surge right before the new rate went in. So a lot of people jumped in uh, to buy those and get those taken care of. And then we had a question, you know, will that slack off over the uh, next few months? But I went back and talked with Tom Bashir today and said, hey, can we compare March of 2019 with March of 2020? we were only down three adequate facility tax uh, applications. So therefore, uh, it really did not have any effect on us. Our collections rate uh, was up from March of 19 to March of 20, $235,000 in the residential side, $178,000 uh, in the commercial side. So overall for March, we were up $413,000. When we talked about our permits to date, we were up 1,695 overall year to date from this time this year to last year. Uh, on the adequate facility tax, the actual revenue number that is up, if I combine the commercial and the residential, up $5.8 million. So we believe that will help us there as we go to looking to cover that shortfall uh, that's there. Now those, of course, as you remember, were enacted for us to build a jail, two WEMA stations and a convenience center. And of course, with the climate that we're in, the sheriff has talked about uh, uh, holding off, and we all agree that we'll hold off on building the jail and those two women stations and convenience center until we know about our economic standing. And so therefore, that revenue can be used to help us overcome those shortfalls there. Our, our collection rate right now, as far as the budget went on adequate facility tax, is up at 165% uh, percent right now. Single fam uh, family permits are also only down one compared to last year at this time, and that's just at the county level, not in the cities. Uh, and the collection rate in the county uh, permit is up $82,000. So those are funds that we believe will help us uh, hopefully end up in a positive note uh, as we end up this year. I will add one more thing to that. The internet sales tax as the enforcement of Rule 190, 129 that allowed those destination taxes to go to the county where it was originated in is up 48 percent. That's an extra million dollars there, million 80,000 really to be exact. When you look at our fund balance right now, it's at about $10.4 million uh, in the general fund. And, uh, you know, as we talk to our elected officials about looking at their budgets, we've asked them to do two things really. Turn us in a status quo budget uh, for uh, this year, and we want those to be turned in to our finance office by May the 1st, and then look for ways that you can make cuts going into next year. So that's two things we did, but we did ask them as well to see how much money can they turn back this time, uh, things that they don't necessarily have to do, especially since we've been shut down, to hopefully help us build on the fund balance and to create that a little bit more depth there so that we can use that as we go forward. As we talk about our budget process, uh, that's a kind of a quick overview of your finances for this last budget or the budget that we're in now. Uh, as I said, we asked them to, turn, to do the two things on their budget as far as they prepare for that. Uh, but we also know that as they turn that in, we'll have more data coming in and be able to actually look at it a little bit better. So we left some date on your timeline that I sent you on May the 19th and the 20th to go back and revisit those status quo budgets. Do we see and have enough data at that time in order to make some cuts now? 
Uh, if not, then we will uh, pass a budget with your permission on June the 30th, a status quo budget, and we'll revisit every month, uh, July, August, and before September 1, if we need to amend our budget, we can do that. Uh, the comptroller will allow us to do that. Uh, I will add this one note, and uh, Mayor Jennings may speak to it if he needs to, but uh, as these department heads turn in their status quo budgets uh, to all the commissioners, if you look at the status quo budget that you got, the same one you passed last year, and you decide there's no need for you to meet, then you can email your chairman and let him know that, um, and the chairman will then email that or talk to the the uh, department head or elected official and say they could pass that budget on uh, to the budget committee. Uh, I believe that is right. So you still are in the driver's seat. You still have the right to have a meeting. Uh, but if you choose not to do so, you can let your chairman know that uh, based on them being just status quo meetings. As we look towards next year uh, and uh, try to think about what that property, uh, what our uh, property tax looks like, we know that we had 170 total lost properties that uh, will affect our tax uh, revenue. 17% uh, really of what their tax bill is what they're going to pay according to Mr. Goodall as we uh, reached out to him and talked about the assessment that would be uh, credited to these 170 totally lost uh, properties. We are going to file some legislation as uh, Sevier County did back when they had the Gatlinburg fires along with Putnam County, Davidson County and Smith County and ask the state to see if they would make us whole uh, on that tax that we've lost there. Uh, we will definitely do our best and involve the other legislatures from the other three counties to give us some help, hopefully, uh, in that. Uh, Mr. Goodall, of course, is looking to tell us what those numbers are, so we'll know what we'll be asking for, and he's working on those as we speak. If those properties uh, that were damaged by the tornado can be reestablished by September 1, there'll be no uh, tax credits for those, uh, and they will, be, um, they will pay their full uh, list of tax bill at that time if they can be made whole. If they can't, uh, then that will be something that we will look at at the Board of Equalization as we move through that uh, the second week of June this year. We hope to start that one. You've heard a little bit about uh, the $1.6 million that the state gave the counties. Uh, just to remember or to remind you of that, that 1.6 is not stimulus money. It's not 1.6 to go do a bunch of things that we have wanted to do from time to time but didn't have the money to do. It's actually to go and kind of supplant in our budget. And so we've reached out. They've kind of geared um, uh, to certain fields of where this money can be spent at. But we've reached out to IT and to uh, our maintenance budget and asked both of those departments to identify things that they were already going to do anyway. Uh, and we will apply that grant, which we get that in April the 30th. We'll apply for that grant, and if we get that 1.6, which we're hoping we are, then we'll pay for those things out of their budgets. And then we'll take the money that we're going to be getting from, our, from us to do those things and put that back in the general fund in order to help cover the revenue that we know that we'll be losing as of sales tax uh, deficits. So that is how we plan to use the 1.6. It's not extra. Uh, it is really to supplant and to add money back into the general fund. The legislator just wanted to be sure that we tagged it and used it for something that we were already going to do, not something that we were going to dream up to do. That's why they made it a grant of that nature. As we look forward to the tornado, we know as we close out this year's budget, <clears throat> uh, departments like roads, WEMA, sheriff, and landfill, suffered a lot of extra cost and fuel, equipment, and overtime. And those were hoping to get back that money, of course, from the FEMA reserve, the, the FEMA funds that we will um, put forward and try to get that back. Uh, me and Mr. Maynard have talked, uh, and as we talked on that uh, through the comptroller's suggestions as well, they've asked us to, we could use a, uh, a capital outlay note or a small SAB lo SBA loan um, that would be low interest to borrow the money to make those four departments whole. And that way you wouldn't be depleting your fund balance and you would have it as you went into next year in case you needed those reserves. It'll take 12 to 18 months for those FEMA uh, funds to come in. So when they come in, then we'll turn around and pay off those loans uh, that we made for those departments. Um, that gives you a little bit of idea of looking towards this coming budget season. 
uh, we did reach out and talk to Ashley McAnulty about, you know, many times you guys say, well, we're quite in debt and uh, what's going to happen? Can we make our bond payment? Uh, just so you know, again, through your best practices, our 150, we have three different uh, debt service accounts, 151, which is general debt. And then we have two others that are rural debt service is 152. And then a special purpose school fund is uh, 121. Our reserves in which we try to make sure that we always follow that we do not issue debt unless we have a good fund balance there. And I'm happy to say that after our, our 151 fund balance has enough in it that if we didn't receive any revenues at all for a year, we could make a payment for a year there through the reserve. So we have 100 percent fund balance in that. As you look at 152 and 121, those are a little bit different in that we'll have to keep a good eye on them because they're pretty much uh, backed by the sales tax growth uh, that, that fills both of those funds. But we do have 80% capacity in them as we speak right now as well. We have always only averaged uh, estimated growth of 3% in the sales tax column. It's normally five or better, but we've always low estimated there. So we do feel uh, decent and prepared as we get into the, um, uh, the fund balances there for uh, the debt payment if we have to do that. That's a quick overview of those funds. If you have any questions, feel free to call me or call Mr. Maynard, and Mr. Maynard will probably have some more data to give you as he gives his report. I will tell you this for your constituents, that the health department had a drive-in testing site this weekend uh, at their place. Now, they do free testing every day. You just have to call the health department, give them uh, your symptoms. They will sign up an appointment for you. You can drive up, stay in the car, and get that done. Those are all free. But this last weekend, they started at 7.55 and ended at 1.45 because the state would be there to pick up their test at 2 o'clock. They did 275 drive through people. They turned away 150 people uh, because of the lack of time. We will not have them back this week, but we hope to have them the next two weekends back to do that again in our county. Uh, a big thank you to the WEMA organization, the Sheriff's Department, the Lebanon Police Department, and the Health Department for putting this on. Uh, we definitely will have a, a, a better staff the next time, hopefully maybe more testing sites, and so we can will not miss out on those 150 uh, the next time. Uh, last thing I will say to you uh, before we move on with our meeting tonight is that you know, we try to can still communicate um, about uh, different things that are going on right now uh, throughout our county. And we've reached out to the county health uh, board. That's a board that's uh, automatic on our uh, committee list, if you look at it. And that board, that county health department board, uh, is consists of um, actually the school superintendents. It's a 10-member board, health department representatives, a veterinarian, two doctors, a pharmacist, a dentist, and a nurse. Uh, we've added three mayors from the city, the three police chiefs from the city and the sheriff, the EMA director and the EMA chief, uh, the CEO at Vanderbilt Wilson Hospital, the three chamber presidents, and some state health department reps. As we move forward, we meet once a week and just kind of report out so we can have a good idea of what all is going on. We will move forward uh, this week with asking uh, G.C. Hickson to be a part from the economic development side. And our county medical director, uh, Dr. McKinney, we're going to ask him to be a part of that as well. But that is kind of a think tank group that meets once a week to talk about exactly what's going on. So I wanted you to know that this this is happening uh, to where we can keep good communication going between uh, our folks. And um, we have actually uh, our, our county has been asked to be a part of uh, 30 different groups that the governor has put together about reopen in Tennessee. Uh, our group is really a part of, or uh, the mayor's office is a part of a local government reorganization and reopening. Uh, As you heard today, probably that the governor said that he would lift his stay of the order, stay of the uh, at home order on April 30th. Uh, but that doesn't mean that everything will be just turned back out to the public. Uh, that will be uh, released probably Thursday or Friday. That will happen in phases as we move forward. But uh, I just wanted to kind of give you that update. Again, if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to give me a call or call Mr. Maynard uh, at any time, and we'll be glad to maybe set up maybe a, a time where we can all get on here and talk uh, uh, maybe through a work session to let you ask any questions that you would like to ask. This time, I would ask you to unmute yourself as we continue the rest of our business tonight. Um, and uh, Mr. Goodall, are there any additions to be added to the notary list? We're, good. We're all good there, so uh, if you'll unmute yourself, 
I'll ask for a motion to approve the notary list. I got a motion to approve. And who was that? Mr. Glover. Mr. Glover made the motion. Who made the second? Mr. Patton made a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. And if you will, when you make a motion, if you could tell me who's making that motion, that would help Ms. Dowdy out as she does. The next item for business, you are to elect five members, three regular members, and two alternates to the Board of Equalization. I would like to recommend to you the following, if you've been sent information on, Mr. Blake Hall, Mr. Mark Brown, Mr. Russell, which is an alternate, and Mr. David Young. I have your motion to approve this. Motion to approve by Patton. Do I hear second? Second by Stafford. Second by Commissioner Stafford. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. You're muted, muted. We can't hear you, Mayor. Muted. You're muted. There Can you, you hear me now? Yes, yes sir. Yes. Okay. Uh, report for the Emergency Management Committee, Commissioner Glover. No report. Emergency Manager Director's report was in your packet, so we'll not have a report from that, but I would like to hear a motion to approve that. Motion, motion to approve. To approve. Yeah. And that motion was by? Weathers. Weathers, and a second? Second, second by Jeff Patton. Glover. Second by Patton. Any discussions? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 And opposed. Respect it, respect it was unanimous. Report from the Law Enforcement Committee, Commissioner Rich. No report. And the Sheriff's report is in your packet. I ask for a motion to approve those. Motion, motion to approve. approve. <laughs> that motion was by? Robinson. Robinson. And the second? Bernard. Bernard. Second. Bernard. 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 Commissioner Bernard was a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 And opinion opposed. Hearing none, report from the Education Committee, Commissioner Stafford. No report. All right, Director of Schools report was in your packet. Do I hear a motion from someone to approve that? Motion to approve, Stafford. Commissioner Stafford. Second approved. Robinson. Second Robinson, any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Treasurer Deeds report is in your packet from Ms. Murphy. Do I hear a motion to approve her report? So motion to approve. I got a motion there from Weathers. Do I hear a second? Second. I got a second there by uh, Commissioner um, Gentry. Hoss. Who was that? Gentry, I think. Mr. Gentry. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. And opposed? The record reflected unanimous. Uh, the trustees report, Mr. Major, was in your packet. Do I hear a motion by somebody to approve that one, please? So moved. I got a move. And that was, uh, that was Commissioner Walker. Do I hear a second? Second. Second by Bishop. Second by Commissioner Bishop. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The record reflects unanimous. Road superintendent report was in your packet by Mr. Murphy. Do I hear a motion to approve that one? Motion to approve, Robin. To approve. I got a motion to approve by Commissioner Robson. Do I hear a second? Second by Phil Rich. Second by Commissioner Fields. Any questions? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 And opposed? The record reflects was unanimous as well. Ag Center report was in your packet. Uh, and that was uh, by Mr. Smith. Do I hear a motion to approve that report? Motion to approve, Jen. Second. Mr. Motion and a second by who? Robinson. Robinson. Commissioner Robinson was a second. Uh, any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 The record reflect it was unanimous as well. The Expo Center report by Mr. Murphy was in your packet. Do I hear a motion to approve that? Motion, motion to approve. Field. Motion to approve Fields. Do I hear a second? Second, go ahead. Rich. I got a second, Rich. Any discussion? Again, all in favor say aye. 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 <coughs> Reflected was unanimous. Report from the Public Works Committee, Commissioner Weathers. 
No report. No report. Uh, the um, Ag Center Management uh, report, uh, Commissioner Scruggs. Commissioner Scruggs. Commissioner Robinson. No report. No report. Okay. Mm -hmm. Commissioner Scruggs may have muted himself. If he could unmute himself, that would be good. Animal Control, Commissioner Marlowe. <coughs> no report. No report. Audit. There is a report in you. I, I have a report in there, um, Commissioner Marlowe. We didn't have enough for a, uh, to have a meeting. Got an, okay, didn't have enough to have a meeting. Okay. Audit Committee, Commissioner Bernard. No report. Cable Tax, uh, Commissioner Walker. No report. Development Tourism, Commissioner Venata. No report. Got you. Commissioner um, um, Ethics, Commissioner Ash. No report. Commissioner uh, um, Finance, Commissioner Weathers. No report. Health and Recreation, Commissioner Patton. No report. Insurance, Commissioner Ash. Uh, Mr. Chairman, the insurance committee met March 17th in the courthouse at 6 p.m. Uh, copy of the minutes are in the packet. Uh, make a motion that be received and filed. Second. I got a motion in the second there, but Joe Ali. Uh, any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Let the record reflect it was unanimous again. Judicial Commissioner Glover. Judicial Committee met March 16th, 630 p.m. in the upstairs conference room. Move that the, the ministry received and filed. Second. Okay. Got a motion by uh, Commissioner Glover and a second by Commissioner Bernard. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Planning and zoning, Commissioner McFarland. No report. Rules, Commissioner Gentry. No report. Urban Type Facility Board, Commissioner Scruggs or Commissioner Rich. Uh, the Urban Type Facility Board met electronically. I think it was on the 1st of April. Uh, the minutes in the package make a motion to be receiving. Uh, second, Glover. I got a motion in the second. Commissioner Glover, all in favor say aye. 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 Uh, opposed? Finance Director's Report, uh, Mr. Aaron Maynard. Mayor, just can you can hear me. Can you hear me? No? I can hear you. Yes, sir. And I can see you. Yes, sir. Okay. I just can't hear you. Um, I had a little technical issue earlier that uh, Mr. Wilson helped me. I hate to say Aaron because it sounds like I'm talking. Um, I don't have a lot to add to what you said earlier. I just say that up through the month. Uh, the results the I, don't, I can't hear, understand the anything you say. Very muffled. All right. You hear me now? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. 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 Never been close. Uh, we were running very strong. Mm -hmm. No, can't hear you. Um, no. Aaron, turn your volume up. Turn your volume up. Yep. No. You turn your volume up on your computer. Oh, he left. <laughs> we will we will come back to Mr. Maynard's report uh, when he joins us again. And uh, we'll move forward with the report from the Budget Committee. Mr. Marlowe. The uh, Budget Committee met uh, April the 9th. And uh, the minutes are in your packet, but we do need to make one correction. Will you please add that Joy Bishop was in attendance at the meeting? And I make a motion we approve the minutes as amended. Second. Motion. Commissioner Marlowe. And a second I was at that meeting. So was that. I was too. Stafford was. Yeah, because we were all online. So we all had those meetings. 
Martians are landing. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. So we'll make those make we'll make those adjustments to that. Any other discussion about other than people being added to the meeting? All in favor say aye. Uh, 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 opposed? The record reflects exam. Now we'll move on with resolutions. Commissioner Marlowe. Resolution Board of County Commissioners, Wilson County, Tennessee, to amend the budget and appropriation resolution. Motion. I can hear him. Thank you. Can you hear me? Marlo, we can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes. yes. Barely. Yeah. Resolution of the Board of County Commissioners, Wilson County, Tennessee, to amend the budget and appropriation resolution for the 1924 year. To make an additional appropriation from the sanitation fund number 207 and motion to approve Glover. <laughs> got a motion second, to approve Stafford. by um, Mr. Glover. I got a second by Stafford. Mr. Stafford. Any discussion now on the landfill amendment to be moved? Hearing none, if you're ready to vote, I'll do it by roll call. You can say aye if you choose to do so, if you choose to vote yes or no. Uh, and would you choose yes or no? I think would be probably better. I'm perhaps for saying the aye. Mr. Fields? Yes. Yes. Mr. Bannock? Yes. Mr. Franklin? Yes. Uh, Commissioner Bernard? Yes. Mr. McFarland? Yes. Yeah. Mr. Rich? Yes. Commissioner Scruggs. Commissioner Costley. Mr. Patton. Yes. Mr. Walker. Yes. Mr. Gentry. Yes. Commissioner Ash. Yes. Commissioner Robinson. Yes. Mr. Jones. Yes. Mr. Dow. Yes. Commissioner Weathers? Yes. Commissioner Ali? Yes. Commissioner Blues? Yes. Commissioner Glover? Yes. Commissioner Stafford? Yes. Commissioner Kurtz? Yes. Mr. Marlowe? Yes. Commissioner Venata? Yes. Commissioner Bishop? Yes. Commissioner Smith? Yes. Okay. Uh, I, I think I heard from Commissioner Scruggs. Mr. Scruggs, could you say yes one more time? And to Mr. Costley. Mr. Costley? I didn't hear any, either one. I have 23 yes. 23 yes. yes. Okay, I got a yes then. And it was Commissioner Costley? So yeah. I got I got 24 yes and one unknown uh, at this point. <laughs> Resolution passes. Commissioner Glover, go ahead. I mean, Commissioner uh, Marlowe, go ahead, please. Resolution of the Board of County Commissioners of Wilson County, Tennessee, to amend the budget and appropriation resolution for the 2019-2020 year to make an additional separation on the sign number 124 in the action center. Second. Second. Second, Stafford. I got a second by Stafford. Uh, a motion to approve by uh, Commissioner Franklin. Commissioner Marlowe. Commissioner Marlowe made the motion. Commissioner Stafford made the second. Any discussion now? Seeing none. You ready to vote? All right, here we go. Roll call again. Yes. Commissioner Fields? Yes. Commissioner Bannock? Yes. Mr. Franklin? Yes. Mr. Bernard? Yes. Mr. McFarland? 
Yes. Commissioner Rich? Yes. Commissioner Scruggs? Commissioner Costley? Yes. Commissioner Patton? Yes. Commissioner Walker? Yes. Commissioner Gentry? Yes. Commissioner Ash? Yes. Commissioner Robinson? Yes. Commissioner Jones? Yes. Commissioner Dow? Yes. Commissioner Weathers? Yes. Commissioner Ali? Yes. Commissioner Breeze? Yes. Commissioner Glover? Yes. Commissioner Stafford? Yes. Commissioner Kurtz? Yes. Commissioner Marlowe? Yes. Commissioner Banata? Commissioner Bishop? Yes. yes. Commissioner Smith? Yes. Okay. Heard from everybody that time, but Commissioner Scruggs? Will be 24 yes and one unknown. Continue, Commissioner Marlowe. Resolution 24 3. Resolution to the Board of County Commissioners of Wilson County, Tennessee to amend the budget and appropriation resolution for the 2019 2020 fiscal year to make line item transfers in the election commission. For Second, motion to approve, Glover. Motion, Weathers. I got a motion to approve by Commissioner Glover. I got a second by Commissioner Weathers. Are there any discussion? I have a question. Uh, Commissioner Gentry has a question. Uh, go ahead, Commissioner this, Gentry. How does this relate to the money we already approved to uh, to redo the building to make it make it so they can move there? Is okay, this extra money? That doesn't have anything to do with it. This is money in their own budget <laughs> that they're moving from their building uh, and utility lines in order to, to pay for uh, what they had to publicize to everybody about the change in the voting locations. So that happened within their budget and has nothing to do with the building uh, money that's going to, to uh, redo the renovate it. Okay, thank you. They're not related. Any other questions? Okay, are we ready to vote? Ready to vote? Uh, here we go again. Commissioner Fields? <laughs> yes. Commissioner Bannock? Yes. Commissioner Franklin? Yes. Commissioner Bernard? Yes. Commissioner McFarland? Yes. Commissioner Rich? Yes. Commissioner Scrubs? Commissioner Costley? Yes. Commissioner Patton? Yes. Commissioner Walker? Yes. Commissioner Gentry? Yes. Commissioner Ash? Yes. Commissioner Robinson? Yes. Commissioner Jones? Yes. Commissioner Dow? Yes. Commissioner Weathers? Yes. Commissioner Ali? Yes. Commissioner Breeze? Yes. Commissioner Glover? Yes. Commissioner Stafford? Yes. Commissioner Kurtz? Yes. Commissioner Marlowe? Yes. Commissioner Venata? Commissioner Bishop? Yes. And Commissioner Smith? Yes. Everyone again, I got 24 yes and only one unknown. The resolution passes. Thank you, Commissioner Marlowe. Um, is there any old business to come before this body tonight? Mayor? Yes, sir. We're going to go back to Aaron. Yes, we will. We will. Yeah, we or school for the uh, new concession stand, the bathrooms, etc. Since that school will probably be demolished, will that insurance cover the cost of those? And if so, what are we going to do with that 1.225? Is that going back into uh, debt service? Or is that you had thought about? Uh, we have, and you're saying it is the 1.2 that was set aside to build bathrooms and stuff. At the school, will it be re, uh, redone with the insurance? Uh, insurance cannot replace something that was not built to begin with. Uh, so, um, so it was not there uh, on the front end. Um, I would uh, take this time, I guess, to go to Mr. Maynard. If Mr. Maynard is on here, uh, so he could give his talk, maybe, uh, and he may cover anything of that nature as well. 
Mr. Maynard, are you with us? I'm here. I just don't know if anybody can hear me or not. We can't yeah. hear you? Yes. Yeah. We can hear you. Okay. Yes. Um, no, I, I don't have to talk to you. You know, other than uh, hopefully you guys all received the letter that I sent out. and We can't understand what he's saying. Yeah. We can't understand what you're saying. Do you have yeah. your hand on the speaker, uh, Aaron? No, sir. Okay. I'm just going to have to figure out a different way to do it. Okay. So, for tonight, and, I'll report it, and then by next time, I'll have a different way to go about it because what I'm trying is not working. You sounded good earlier before the meeting started, did not? Yeah, before the meeting started. <laughs> I don't, I don't. <laughs> okay. Anything you want to add, uh, Mr. Maynard? No. Uh, again, all, all I'm doing is asking people to just be cautious and, and help us uh, uh, be patient, keep an eye on things, and, uh, you know, let's, let's just work through this a step at a time. That's all I'm asking. Okay. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Uh, I'll go back to any other old business now. And uh, I guess I need to approve his report. Do I hear a motion to approve Mr. Mayor's report first? So so Second. I got uh, a motion by um, a host of people. I'm going to pick Rather. one. Of them. What report? Uh, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say uh, Mr. Walker was uh, the motion. Uh, Commissioner Breeze was the second. Any discussion? So you're not all in favor. Aye. 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 And opposed. Okay. Thank you for that. Any other old business to come before the body? Did somebody go look for Mr. Scruggs? I would say the new button is probably on. He's probably hearing every word okay. we say. And uh, any new business to come before the body? Do I hear one more motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Oh, uh, in favor, say aye. Aye. aye.